All right, Spence, 16 points, six steals, baby, in the exhibition. Uh, in a start, you've come off the bench your whole career, BYU. What was that like to start and have that performance? Oh, it felt really good. I mean, it was a first start for me. Um, something I always look forward to and, and always kind of like dreamed about, but then to actually like have that, I guess like manifest itself and, and come to be was just super, super cool. Okay, uh, part of the 16 points, always nice to start off with a made shot. Mm -hmm. And you made your first two threes, we'll take a look at the first. Yeah, so right here, <clears throat> our big thing we're, we're really working on is getting this ball moving. Um, you have to make a decision in, in .5 seconds, whether to, to pass, shoot, or drive. Luckily, it's a long time. But yeah, .5, no big deal, right? <laughs> so Gideon makes a really nice baseline drive here. Hits Jackson, who's in the corner. As Gideon was driving, I tried to circle up in the middle maybe to see if he was gonna hit me on a, on a cut like there. Um, it didn't really work out, but because I made that cut, it kind of freed me up on the backside. They, they lost me a little bit. And Jackson did a great job of just firing me over there. And way to grab that ball. It's not in the shooting pocket per se, but it's right to you. Yeah. And uh, hoist it up. Once that first one goes through for a shooter, what's that like? Oh, man. As a non-shooter, what's that like? <laughs> As a non-shooter. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Keep it rolling. Keep shooting. Okay, and we keep the play rolling because you end up getting a steal and uh, that leads to an assist for you. Yeah, so the other thing we were really talking about this season is um, getting out and being disruptive on defense. So this one, I saw the big guy had picked it up. So I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta stay in my man and try to jump this passing lane, which I did. And you um, set the tone defensively. You're out at mid court on what, the second possession? Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing Coach Pope and I talked about was you know, it was great to see that first three go in, but really it's a, it's the things that are reproducible every night, which is like defense and being out in the passing lanes and things like that. So I really tried to focus on that in this game. And Jackson uh, Robinson misses the layup, but Bruce follows it up for, uh, for the two, so that was great. That was there nice sequence. Then your second three point, this time Rudy Williams. Right? Yeah, so right here, Foos comes up with a great 50-50 ball. Rudy drives right to the middle. My guy has to help. Rudy does a good job of recognizing that. She makes an easy pass to me and then stuck it. Okay, end of the uh, first half, last couple of minutes, uh, get a steal, and then uh, you find Jackson Robinson on the wing. Yeah, it's the same deal here, being out in the passing lane. And then the other thing they're, they're really getting after us is like, you have to run the floor super hard. So right here, I could have hit Rudy, um, but I just saw Jax over there and thought I'd give him a try. He, I know he hit a couple, so. In rhythm. Yeah. Catch and shoot, that was nice. A little no look. Yeah, got to mix it up every once gotta in a while. Got to mix it up. Okay, to later in the first half, Gideon to Jackson to you. This is an incredible sequence where Jackson Robinson, seven foot two wingspan, comes into play right there. I know, that's such a crazy pass. <laughs> well, first off, Gideon, he could have shot this ball. This is, this, I mean, it would have been a really tough shot. They had some defenders down there, but he did a really good job of recognizing that. So he hits Jackson in the corner. Jack saves it, whips it around to me. Incredible. Oh yeah. I hit it on the baseline and then saw they were in a scramble, so I hit Rudy. And then as soon as I passed it, I did the, the Steph Curry. I was like, oh, I gotta relocate. Mm -hmm. Rudy did a nice job of finding me right there. And it was a long two, like, you know, whatever, but I made it, so it's all good. Long twos, you guys don't like shooting long twos. No. It's an inefficient shot. Right? Yeah. But uh, when the ball goes in, it goes. Two's better than zero. Right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's the Noah Hart stop. Yeah. On the baseline, long two. Back when long twos were a thing. Tyler Haas, long twos were a thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, second half. Uh, two minutes in, a steal that leads to an assist to Gideon. So same deer here, just trying to be out in the passing lanes. Um, fortunately, he dribbled it off his foot. So I was just there, picked it up, and then tried to take a couple hard dribbles to get it to, uh, down the floor. As Gideon was running, I saw this number 10 here. He kind of took a look at Rudy, and so I gave him Gideon like a little no-look pass just right in the pocket. Okay, and then uh, last but not least, a, uh, a steal and a layup a couple minutes later. You, you had six of these. We have a ton of film to look at. I know, here we go. Yeah, so getting out in the passing lane, and then making sure once I get that ball to throw it out up ahead of me, try to get you know some separation from my defender. It's a nice little easy layup off the board. Coast to coast, baby. Yeah. Okay, Idaho State for the season opener. What's up, Colby Lee? Uh, coming back to the American Center, return. which would be great. Um, now it's on for game one. Yeah. And uh, what, what are your thoughts on the first game? Well, one thing we always talk about is the next game that we play is always the hardest one. So this one obviously is a huge game. We want to start the season off right. Um, Idaho State has a lot of really good shooters, so we got to make sure we're locked in there. And it's just be a really fun game. Looking forward to it. Okay, have fun. Thank you.